Today I thought like I'd put a dress on, you know, just something, because it's absolutely boiling outside, so I was like, oh, wear a dress, you know, just it's a little bit cooler. But now you can like legitimately see <laughs> my tan lines. Don't look at them. And I can't bother to get changed again, so you're going to have to deal. Today I'm going to talk about Beastars Season 2, like my thoughts, my opinions on them. It's not going to be super structured, it's more just like free-flowing, just what whatever comes to my head. I will say from the get-go I really enjoyed season two but I feel like it was heavily flawed. Uh, the basic plot revolves around Louis being gone. He is a gang member now, gang leader actually to be fair, he's a gang leader now and Lego she hunting down Thames Killer and avoiding contact with Haru at all costs. Like anything he can do not to be near it, it feels like he's out. I wanted to bring up this snake. Now, I can't remember what its name was. It was like called Six Eyes or something or it had a different name. It felt like this weird um, prompt for Legoshi, like that's all it was, was to go, hey Legoshi, find Tem's killer, like remind him on that that's what he's got to be doing. And it was like, it feels like a waste. It just felt like a little bit of wasted character. Maybe like in next season, it will be, it'll do something else and it'll have more uses, but it just felt like it was there in the beginning to like creep people out and go, oh, what's in the walls? But that kind of lasted for an episode or two and then it was gone and then it was revealed to be this snake, which was like really pervy. Well, Lego she like massively pervy. Like, mm, this is the, this is the one, this is the, sp the animal I need, the perfect creature. I don't know what the snake is planning for him, but it just was a bit random. I didn't mind it though, I didn't mind it, but it just felt like it was a waste of a decent character. Now, I am not a Haru stan. Juno is my girl. I, I apologize for that. Juno is my girl, I can't help it. But it was like, they did her really dirty this season. I felt so bad for her, because I was like, last season she, Yes, she was the romantic interest, but she, you know, she had her own life. She was going through her bullying issues. She was with Louis. She was with other boys and she had her gardening club and, you know, she was living her own life. But this season, she legitimately just felt like a prop for Lego she to pick up as and when, which felt very unfair, even though like Juno is my girl. I did, I felt bad. I was like, this is not fair. She deserves a lot better than just being wheeled out when Lego she needs a moment to be like, maybe I shouldn't be as aggressive about stuff as I am. Maybe I should chill more. But one of her scenes was actually one of my favorites in the show. Now I don't know how many would feel about this, but the scene where it's Lego she and Haru on the steps and she's like trying to talk to him and like, was pulling him closer with his tie and then he like asks her yeah but do you still think about Louis or do you still have feelings for Louis? Do you still have feelings for Louis? <gasps> and it was like oh I love moments like that where like a uh, confrontation comes to her head and she just couldn't answer him and he like walked away I was like oh, oh like I don't know if I even want him to end up with Juno. I just prefer Juno as a character. I feel like he probably should end up with Haru, but it's not the one that like, oh yes, this is what I want. Like I prefer Juno, but he ends up with Haru. It makes sense. It works for the story. It's fine. Speaking of Louis, he's now a member of the Shishigumi Tala. Actually, he is the head of the Shishigumi when he went there last season and killed the leader. Like, he was all ready to die. He's like, come on, eat me, whatever. And they were like, no, we're going to use you. And they have made him the leader. And he has joined them. And now he's, like, being a cannibal and doing all that stuff. And it's like, okay, he's gone full crazy. Like, he just... He needs to prove something to himself. I really felt like it was his season to be like, i got to prove something. You know, he's... And I think it worked for him. I really do. I think the time away from everybody worked and it worked for him as a character it helped him come to some realizations which i think was important but the one he was a dick to haru which i don't think is fair she doesn't deserve that and number two even though i loved it at the time i feel like it doesn't make any sense why 
him and Juno had that dance. I'm like, do I ship it? Maybe. I think I do. I'm not sure. I feel like I do, which feels bad. It doesn't make any sense. But I'm like, when I saw it, I was like, okay, I can stand it. I can get behind this. I can get on board. But it doesn't feel like it makes any sense to anybody ever. But I kind of enjoyed it. So I can't lie about how I felt, but that is what I felt. Uh, another point I want to bring up is Legoshi's character this season. Like, he is confused in every sense of the word. Like, who is he in love with? Like, I, I'm i having some real questions because this season as well, not, not saying it in like a bad, it's not a bad thing at all. I'm not saying that, but it was so homoerotic. I, I was like, is it me? Am I doing this? Am I putting these pieces together or is the show doing it? Like, he actively spends most of his time fighting shirtless men. <laughs> or just men in general, rather than just spending some time with Haru, who obviously, like, wants him to do that. But he's like, nah, I gotta, like, beat some dudes up or get locked in a cellar by my, like, Dom Panda friend who is training me and locking me in a cellar so I can sit with some meat and just think about my day. Okay. Um, so... He is like trying to find Tam's killer and one night he's like attacked by somebody and he's scrapping with them. You know, he's just had his argument with Haru and he's scrapping with them and then he makes out with them so he can get the taste of their saliva. Okay. Okay, fine, 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 okay. It, it makes sense because he couldn't smell anything, so he had to use another one of his senses, but okay. Yeah, so then once he's like got the taste of the saliva, this is all, he's doing all of this rather than hanging out with Haru. Okay, okay, okay. So he goes around everybody's bottles and he starts like drinking a bit so he can taste their saliva. Like, my boy got some issues. We love Legoshi. We wish him the best, but he, he has some massive issues. So he's, like, sipping the bottles, and then he gets to one, opens the door, and it's a crushed bottle. I did not think it was a crushed bottle. I do not know what I thought it was, but it did not look like a crushed bottle to me, so I was super confused. I think that was my bad. And when they're in drama club, he's, like, chilling, and one of the herbivore's arm gets ripped off and he takes him because he's the most trusted one by the herbivores to the, to the nurse's station thing and gets him treated because like this happens all the time just herbivore's arms being ripped off so the technology is pretty good okay um and riz helps with like takes the arm and then they're just out there and he's like yeah i know you killed tam and i'm going what it for me, that reveal felt like it came out of absolutely nowhere. And don't get me wrong, later on, I'm glad it was Riz who killed him because it, it worked for what the character needed. But it was just like, he just appeared from out. He was a very much a background character. I felt like if they did developed him more and then it was Riz, it would have felt like more of a gut punch because when it happened then I was like what oh oh okay it's you and we're doing it here in the corridor around everyone okay and then my boy Pina shows up and I am not gonna lie I loved Pina like Pina is just a little snake and you've got to love it you have to love it because he was just like so sly all the time and he's he's got a he thinks about stuff and he's trying to plan and be outsmart people which i always appreciate and he like swans on in and is like you know got <laughs> the herbivore's bag that's just had its arm ripped off and it's like yeah i'm just bringing the bag back hey you two should not do this here and you're like wow okay so pina's the new king we love pina yeah so this kind of entails them two taking it to somewhere private like so that they can fight shirtless i will add again is it me or is it the show doing this i i don't know so those two like they stop fighting and again he could be with haru right now but he's choosing to do this and he's scrapping with this dude and him and riz are like taking chunks out of each other fighting each other and then they're interrupted by the cleaning lady so they're like oh we'll put this on pause and we'll we'll do this again it's like <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> to be fair to the show now, though, a show what did something that I really liked. So with Riz's character, I think they could have earned it more beforehand, but, you know, it's here now. So Riz's mental state, like, he had been told, oh, he's a lovely little bear, he's a lovely little bear, but he's got to take all these muscle suppressants, he's got to be dead restrictive with what he does. And then when Tem kind of sees him as scary... You know, Riz, you're pretty terrifying. What? Tim, did I just hear- And sees him for who he is. He like really appreciates that. He feels like he's, he's seen. Like, cause everyone kind of thinks he's a monster, but they want him to be this cuddly little bear. So he kind of doesn't know what to be. And then when Tim says, oh, you look kind of terrifying. He really likes that. And then he stops taking his muscle suppressant cause he wants to be closer to Tim. And it just, he sends himself into this crazy haze because he comes off his meds like that, which you should never do and kills Tam, but it, to him it's like they're now even more bonded. This is the only way a herbivore and a carnivore can be together properly is by the act of eating them. Now they're one. And like you're going, oh, okay dude, like, uh, um, you sure bro? You sure this is the only way? So I really appreciated Riz's character. I think it worked well for what they needed for Tam's killer. Although I was convinced it was, I know his name isn't Tony, because I'm thinking of Tony the Tiger. Whoever that tiger is, I was like, is it him? Because I know, I know, like Red Herring, he felt like more the option, but I get it shouldn't have been him, and that Riz made more sense. But they could have just used Riz more in season one. I get the following the manga, but still, it just felt like out of nowhere. One of the like other criticisms I've got the show is I watched the trailer because uh, I was excited. I'm like, oh, season two, I'm really really excited. They spoiled so much in the trailer and I get maybe it was like for the manga readers like oh look what's here look what's here but when they had that thing at the beginning like what's in the walls well I'm like well it's the snake when they had this moment where everyone's looking at Legoshi because his looks changed I'm like well it's because he's been shaved because I'd seen the trailer and I knew everything that was going to happen so that I didn't like I felt like I'd had a couple of the um Mr. X spoiled for me. Yeah, so back to what Lego she does this season. He spends his time with the panda who's training him to like desensitize him against meat. Puts him in a locker with a chunk of meat and after a while he like is desensitized to it and then he sends him out at night to like beat up carnivals that have gone like meat crazy and so he can work with them, uh, the panda can work with them and help them. So that kind of relationship's brewing and then at some point this leads Legoshi to find that Louis is the head of the Shishigumi and he's trying to get him back and when they meet up again in his tails wagon, I'm like, is it me or is it the show that's... Who is putting the homoerotic undertones on this? Is it me or is it the show? Like in my mind, the people I ship the most is like Legoshi and <laughs> and Louie. Like I feel like they're the ones, you know? They're endgame to me. Haru who? I'm joking, I do like Haru. And I feel like he will end up with Haru, but just, I don't get what's going on with Louie. Like, what is this? If it's Haru, that's fine. If it's Louie, that is also fine. But Legoshi, honey, I feel like you need to pick one. Who do you want? Who are you into? Because of what happened to the herbivore having his arm ripped off, the school is being told that they're going to have to segregate the herbivores and the carnivores. And not a lot of people are for this, but Juno's for it. I mean, I feel like someone had to take the position of being for it. And Juno's got to take it because she didn't really have a lot to do this season as well, which I feel bad for, but she had so much more to do than Haru, so I can't complain. Uh, and then she does actually like meet Haru at one point and like touches her face and stuff and I'm like do I ship this? I feel like I ship this. Like I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like who, who am I shipping? I don't think I'm shipping who I'm meant to be shipping. <laughs> like these are the two. I'm like do I want a Haru and Juno together? Do I want <laughs> Louie and Legoshi together? Anyway Louie is, he's in the sh Shishigumi he works as you know he works with them for a bit and then once he's met up with uh, Legoshi again and he kind of is and Legoshi's told him he's found Tem's killer it's Riz and he's gonna fight him can you like be there to support me friend boyfriend maybe 
I don't know, can you be there to support me? So that all kicks off, so it's like, he's like, no, I'm not coming. I'm like, you're gonna turn up. So anyway, he's like thinking about it, thinking about it, and then he says, I've gotta go. I've gotta leave the Shishigumi. And he, while he's been there, he's had this like, lion who's been like super simping for him i don't get it like i think he he was like thought of him as so pure and amazing and saved the shishigumi so he kind of like loves him i don't know so anyway he's like i gotta leave and he's like this big lion's like dude you can't come back if you leave if you leave you're out that's it so he's like yeah i'm going well let me drive you so he's driving him down the road and that that end screen that we'd seen for all the other episodes and the last episode becomes the opening thing and it was those two in the car liked that that was a fun little um little thing like hinting at it all the way through the show so they're in the car and then the lion like goes to kill him but is shot by another one of the lions because he'd always told him if i ever try to kill the boss you kill me so it was kind of like his way out of this situation because he couldn't let louis leave but he couldn't kill him and so he was hoping the other guy would come and kill him so Louis manages to get away, he's told to leave and never come back and he makes it to the fight. So like, Lego, she's buzzing. It wouldn't be like that if it was Haru, I'm just saying. But Lego, she's buzzing and they're like, he's trying to fight Riz but he can't and then him, <laughs> him and Louis go onto the top and like above where they're fighting and have a little chat. And like while they're chatting, they're kind of talking about it was a real moment and I'm like, are you two gonna kiss or something? Like, I, I was so confused. Like, here's a clip from it. Now, if I eat you, it's because I want to eat you. Is that okay with you, Louis? Is it me or is it the show? Like, are they gonna kiss? Like, I'm for it. I'm not gonna lie to anybody here. I'm kind of for it, but what's going on? This whole conversation things by like Legoshi not being strong enough to defeat Riz. Also there was this other moment I've forgotten about where Legoshi's like leaning on like doing a proper pose and chatting to Riz while they lie on the ground about fighting and killing. Is it me or is it the show? <laughs> <clears throat> So, so he's up there with Louis, he's having a chit chat about things. Oh yeah, Louis come to this conclusion that he like loves carnivals, like he's obsessed with carnivals. And kind of carnivals are obsessed with him. It's like a weird thing, it's fine. It's chill. It's Gucci. And he kind of <laughs> says to uh, Lego, she eat my leg. Eat me. And you're going, what? He, and then he gets his like number four foot out not his fourth foot but like his foot with the number four on he gets it out and he's like eat it eat it eat it and you're like is it me or is it the show <laughs> so he ends up <laughs> he ends up eating him and then him and riz like fight for a little bit and then riz sees he sees louis with half his leggy and and he's kind of supporting lego she and then he's like, nah, that's carnivore and herbivore friendship. That's it, there, that's the, that's love. Maybe you didn't say that's love. Maybe that's me projecting that's love. And if I was Legoshi, I'd be so mad because I've just like sacrificed my actual leg and you didn't even beat him, beat him up. You didn't, you just, you just came to a conclusion that that's friendship. When you've just kissed or something and then he'd have gone, that's friendship too. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So anyway, Pina, who was here as well, has like called the police. Thank you, my logical king, thank you. And he, the police are called and Riz is arrested and so is Legoshi, he's arrested as well, obviously because his face is covered in blood and he's hulked out and whatever. Riz is, he's going to prison, he's in. But Legoshi, because of like testimony about what happened and everything, is released but has been put on a record so i don't know how that's gonna like affect season three i'm intrigued for season three i'm excited for season three i don't know what it means i don't know what's gonna go on but i'm buzzing so that was my round of my thoughts on b stars season two i hope you have enjoyed it comment down below for the next show you want me to watch and uh ciao for now mm -hmm.